Jeep just checked in and apparently the room is ready. The room's getting closer and closer towards like this lake area and I'm hoping it's a good view. <laughs> we shall see him coming up to it right now. So this room is a lot nicer than the one we had last time. So from my understanding, this is the Copper Creek area. Last time we were here in the Boulder Ridge Villas, but now we're at Copper Creek. I'm pretty sure from memory, last time when we did a DVC tour here, these are the most updated rooms. Quickly show you around. All right, so when you walk in, you got a little kitchen set up. Pretty standard at any DVC studio. Oh wow. Compared to the other, oh. Oh. Okay. Don't know why you need that, but it's there. Then more cabinets, standard stuff, the fridge, a very nice one. Trash, then more stuff. Then you got the bathroom just right behind it. Hair dryer, more toiletries, the bathroom. The one thing I really do like, and I'm gonna really take it in, is the rain shower. And more toiletries. And the one thing in a lot of the newer resorts, and a lot of the more refurbished resorts, is they put all the, the stuff in like these containers now, so you don't keep taking it. But there are some resorts where they still give you the bottles, only a select few. So take advantage of that. Then the living space. Got a nice bed I'll be taking advantage of. Better than the flamingo beds. Anything's better than flamingo. Got a nice couch, little table, another table. Then this is what is really impressive. The view. So I got put on the first floor. That's locked. That's also locked. Okay, look at this. Okay, I couldn't open it because it was too Ooh, safe. I mean, not an amazing view, but still a view nonetheless. Appreciate that. So, room is very nice. It's very hot. The room is very nice. Taking advantage of my day off being here. There's only been a few resorts that I've been able to fully stay at. That being the Polynesian, now this one and the beach club. Those are the main three I've actually had time to spend, but I'm loving it. It's very nice. Oh yeah, and the TV. Anytime you press the TV, it does a little, little trick. Wow. Also, one thing I want to point out with the newer rooms as well, they have USB plugs in the walls as well. So that's very nice. First thing I'm gonna do is get some food because I haven't eaten yet and I woke up at like 12 to come here. So the quick service is, what is it called? Rowing Fork. Okay, let's take a look there. I was gonna attempt to go up to the top floors by just I'm blocked by some doors because I'm guessing that's a club level up there. So that's me. started bucketing down rain so that was fun so I just ate my lunch and just kind of been walking around I've just been waiting for the rain to pass it's looks like it's starting to calm down enough to walk around outside so I'm going to explore outside a bit more see what they got to offer hopefully the audio also sounds a bit better because I'm using a mic 
As I was saying earlier, I've had the opportunity to stay at a lot of the deluxe resorts. We haven't made a real video other than the beach club video that was released a few weeks back. That is the only real one we've actually made a video on. The first resort we got to stay at was the Riviera Resort. That was really nice. Got to spend that with Lorenzo and Maybelline. I was able to get the day off. Yeah, we didn't film anything because we just wanted to enjoy the resort. That was the first time we were doing it, so I wasn't too sure on what to film. Then the second one after that was, I think it was this one actually. Yeah, we got to stay at Wilderness Lodge back in March but we also didn't film anything for that. Then after that for my birthday, we stayed at the Boardwalk. After that was the Polynesian Resort, then the Grand Floridian Contemporary, the most recent one being the Beach Club, which is technically the last deluxe resort within this area. I really just wanted to stay at Wilderness Lodge again because when we first stayed here, Maybelline and I were really amazed by how cozy and nice it was to stay here. Like it was just good vibes. We didn't really take advantage of staying here because we were celebrating Rochelle's birthday. She wanted to do other things, but we really did enjoy our stay here last time. And that was at the other DVC building, which is just down there for me. Now I'm staying within the main building and it is a lot better and I'm loving it. I'm still waiting for the rain to calm down a bit. Anytime I've been doing any resort stays, we've been just staying at the resort, just taking advantage of all the amenities, all the facilities, because whenever do you get the chance to do this type of stuff? I think I might have dinner here as well. There's a, a lounge area by the lake that I'm gonna check out later. It doesn't open for a while. So just quickly wanted to do a little check-in and here's the rest of the video. Run it, mate. And one of the other modes of transport is a boat just over there. You can take that to Magic Kingdom. A very nice scenic route. saw this and god damn so just beyond there is the cabins me and Maybelline did a tour a while back when we were here last time looking at the cabins and they are very very nice but ungodly expensive even on, on off peak season out of all the resorts this is like the most relaxing and it benefits that it's very secluded that you can't really see anything else it's just surrounded by forests nature and you're not too distracted by all the parks. It's just very nice just to unwind, especially almost doing 10 days in a row just then, for me at least. One thing I really love about Wilderness Lodge is that there's a lot of areas like this where you can just sit back, relax, and just take it in, as well as accompanied by a uh, protected fire for extra cozy vibes. This is just what I really, really like, especially when you listen to the right music, you can just kind of zone out and just take it in. It's just so well, it's just so well built. I don't know how to describe it. It's just so big but so secluded and it's everything about it 
I don't know how to describe it. It's just amazing. Out of all the resorts, this one is my favorite. No questions asked. And here's my hot take. I think the hotel resorts are better than the theme parks. Fight me. This is my hot take. Very glad the sun came out after all that rain. It's even better. The rest of the afternoon is going to be great. I'm just kind of walking around the floors, just exploring that I found this. What is going on? Oh, whoa, Dopey? I'm guessing this is the character meet and greet dining restaurant artist point, I believe. While I'm here, I'll do a little tour of what the other building looks like while I am in the area. Funnily enough, that room right there was the room we were staying in last time. Me, Rochelle, and Maybelline. But it was that room. That room right there. Look at the map actually. Yeah, so I'm staying right here. This is where I was staying last time I was here. Then legit all around the lake are just cabins. And they're really really nice. I they're a lot nicer than the ones than the bungalows at the Polynesian Resort. So if you happen to have that kind of money, I'd recommend this one instead. Yeah, so these were the cabins I was on about last time. They're very big. I believe they can fit up to eight people, eight to ten people, I believe. Might be able to see what I'm referring to in that area just here. There's like your own personal hot tub that overlooks the lake, which is pretty neat. I do not know where I'm going, which is kind of following the path. I have not been this far down before. Just having the opportunity to Stay at all these resorts is a blessing in and of itself. Bear in mind, I wouldn't have the opportunity to do these if I wasn't a DVC member. It's just also an added benefit while being here in America. Being able to stay at all these unique places and, and that's why I want to make, make the most out of my time while I'm at the resorts instead of going to the parks when I can go to the parks on any other day. Why waste the time? Like, take advantage of the resorts. They're well built very very well built and i don't have much else to say on that front oh yeah just another thing i want to point out uh mel was supposed to stay with me today but that didn't end up working out so it's just gonna be me tonight so i have this whole space to myself yay i might do a movie night to end the night but we shall see first Just, just get a bit more personal, I guess. Has been about two months now since being here alone, since Rochelle and Lorenzo left. Maybelline left a bit earlier, around early May. She left early due to job opportunities. But now being here for almost two months alone, this is not including the friends I've made here. They're great and all. It's just the difference between having immediate family, in that case being my sister. I can't say it's not been hard and it's a good opportunity for me to grow and learn how to live independently as difficult as it might be it's something I'm gonna have to learn eventually naturally so I do feel homesick quite often and especially during the harder times missing the days when in Adelaide where I just have my days off I would have my car I could go anywhere I want and of course I do miss that equivalent of that I guess is just going to the parks don't get me wrong I am grateful that I'm here it is a cultural exchange of meeting other people from different countries not just America just can't blame you sometimes when you feel homesick it's all natural I know just something I want to get off of my chest so to speak. I'm just kind of waiting it out right now. The pool is very busy. I just want it to be a bit more empty before I start swimming because I just want to not bother other people as well as it. I don't want them to bother me just so I can kind of just relax and enjoy myself. 
Anyway, the music you've been hearing in this video has been from an, an anime called Yudu Camp. It's just about a group of high school girls that go around camping. It's one of the soundtracks I personally listen to whenever I'm walking around Wilderness Lodge because it suits the vibe as well as it's very comforting and it helps me relax and the music is just well composed and it's like one of the best anime soundtracks out there. So. I just wanted to share that in the video, and I've been wanting to use it in a video. I'm gonna get copyright striked to hell, but it suits the video well, so why not use it? It's currently almost 12 a.m. I waited for everybody else to leave, but the cast member said it was okay to stay, so I got the whole pool to myself now. the cast members didn't say to go they just said it's okay as long as you're not making a lot of noise you can stay as long as you want I'm like, okay so i'm gonna stay here for another like 10 minutes or so and just relax now this is nice just hear the sound of the waterfall the same distance and the music just to accompany it. Thank you. 